Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson on multiplication and division expressed in words. So let's start off with a discussion of opposites. Just like cats and dogs, strength and weakness, come on. Sweet and sour. Ooh. or even daytime and nighttime. We can think of multiplication and division as opposites. More specifically, in math, we call them inverse operations. <laughs> cool. Think of it this way. If you have one gummy bear, if you were to multiply that one gummy bear by five, you would have five gummy bears since one times five is equal to five. Now the inverse operation would be to divide this new group of gummy bears by five, and five divided by one is just one. So those four other gummy bears are gone, and what we are left with is the one gummy bear that we started with. And this example should help us understand this relationship between multiplication and division, that they are inverse operations. Oh yeah! So now that we are refreshed on why multiplication and division go hand in hand, we can go ahead and explore the different words and phrases that are used to express these operations in words. So let's start off with multiplication. And we have a few different symbols that we use to represent multiplication. And we also have many different words and phrases, such as multiply, times. We also have product. We can say area. We can also say twice or triple or double or by. And again, any of these words or phrases can be used to represent multiplication. For example, if we had something like 11 times 2, we could represent that as the product of 11 and 2. Or just 11 times 2. So now, using that list of words and phrases, see if you can come up with three more ways to verbally represent 11 times 2. So now that we've covered multiplication, let's look at its inverse, division, and we can express division using different symbols, including a slash or a fraction sign. Now we can use the word quotient or ratio, half of or divide, equal parts or goes into. Now all of these words and phrases can represent division. So this example can be expressed verbally simply as 20 divided by 4. Another way would be to say the quotient of 20 and 4. So using that list of words and phrases, can you think of three more ways to express 20 divided by 4 in words? So as you move forward into algebraic translation, Make sure that you're familiar with these terms and phrases and make sure you know what operations that they represent. And we'll see you next time. Slamma jamma. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for checking us out. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more free animated math lessons updated every week.